Hello guys, this is Code in Code and good morning. Uh, so some time ago, I uh, asked you guys to solve this problem. Uh, roads in Berlin, taken from Code Forces, of course, rated 1900, right? So I told you, if you, of course, just go ahead and try it yourself. You are using Floyd Warshall algorithm. And if you are not able to solve it, don't worry, I'll solve it for you, right? So all we'll solve it together. So. Uh, it's been a long time. I, I told you that I'll be releasing the video uh, lecture next day, but I couldn't do that. I was busy. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. See how we'll solve this problem and code. So basically, we are already given a distance array. Okay. I'm calling that a DP array of size and cross n. Okay. Uh, this is your distance array. Basically, here dp of ij is equals to shortest distance between nodes i and j okay all uh, this is your uh, input array this will be provided as part of the input after that you will provide uh, you will be provided k edges right of the form a b n W. That means uh, now you are adding this new edge to the already provided graph, right? Uh, edge that connects A and B nodes with weight W. After that, it is possible that the uh, shortest path of uh, some of the pairs may reduce even further, right? And in that case, we have to do uh, the exact same thing. That means after reading each edge, we have to recompute this shortest path distance array or a 2D array, I should say. And after that, uh, you have to uh, take the sum of each cell and print it. Okay, print half of it. Why? Because on the, in the problem statement, if you read, uh, it is clearly mentioned that for each pair, count their uh, shortest path distance once only. That means for pair ij and pair ji, okay, you have to count only once. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So uh, you can take the sum of all of the cells, just divide it by two. So uh, you will get the answer eventually. So again, input will be provided. So 2D array will be provided, will be uh, which will be shortest path for every pair of vertices, right? After that, you'll be provided K edges, right? Of the form A, B, and W. That means that there is an edge. We are adding this edge that connects node A and B with, uh, with weight W. After that, it is possible, after adding each edge, it is possible that shortest path between some of the pairs may change. So we have to recalculate this DP array again. And after that, just take the sum of these divided by two and print it. Why divided by two? Because each pair, if you take sum of each cell, uh, you are basically counting a uh, shortest uh, path between a pair IJ twice because of IJ and JI cell, right? So that's why just take the sum of each cell divided by two and print uh, print the result. So let's see, after adding new edge, how does the DP array changes, okay? So you see when you are adding an edge AB with weight W, uh, for pairs IJ, okay, there are two possibilities. First case one, uh, new edge doesn't affect okay <laughs> it should like doesn't affect shortest path okay it is possible that uh, even after adding this edge the shortest path between i and j is not going to change and case 2 of course it changes. It reduces shortest part, right? These are two conditions. Okay. So in case one, we have to do nothing. In case two, we have to update the shortest distance between I and J. But the question is, how do you find uh, shortest uh, distance between I and J, the new one, right? So see, if AB really is going to reduce shortest path between I and J, that means AB must appear in the path between I and J, right? As simple as that. If it has no effect, this will 
uh, this won't be coming in the part from uh, it may or may not be coming in the path sorry since this is a new edge so if even after adding this the shortest path between i and j doesn't change that means this does not come uh, in the path between i and j but if this new edge is actually reducing uh, the shortest path between i and j then this edge must come in between i and j right otherwise how will this affect it right so that means uh, this is let's say node i i have some chain of nodes then there is a then there is b and then there are another chain of nodes and finally i have node j right so in between the shortest path this edge must appear right make sense or it can be other way around right how see either you can have i then chain of nodes then b first and then a since this is a uh, undirected edge so it can be either way either b a or a b right and then again chain of nodes and finally your node j right these two uh, these two are the possibilities my bad something flew in my eye so okay so either this or this is the possibility for case two right so how can you calculate or update you can update the path looking at this and this how see the new path of ij can become the shortest path from i to a plus this weight plus b to j right or in in the other case i to b plus this weight plus a to j right and that's how you uh, got the answer you can update the distance between i and j so run a, a for loop for each pair so that you can calculate for each pair uh, for pair ij what you'll do you'll do dp of ij is equals to minimum of dp of ij itself or dp of i till a plus edge weight plus dp of uh, b to j right this is first case and the second one is that again dp of ij is equals to minimum of dp of uh, ij comma dp of ib right from i we are going till b plus this edge weight plus dp of aj right exact same thing that we have seen here right from i to a then this edge weight then b to j otherwise the uh, other way right and this is exactly what you have to do and the shortest path array will be recalculated let me show you with the code so this is the code you see first what i'm doing uh, first of all i have defined dp array and can be as large as 300 so of course and is defined as 300 right so after that you are reading n the number of nodes and after that shortest path between each pair of vertices in the dp array right after that you're reading k and then k edges after reading each edge i'm calling the function update whose work are two things first it will update the whole dp array and also uh, it will return the sum of each cell divided by two see right so what are we doing here inside of this first of all dp of a b and b a will be changed right depending on this either their new distance will be uh, e either the new w will be their new distance shortest path between them or the old one is smaller than w itself so that will be there right first of all you will update these this pair and after that you will be running an n square loop and for each pair ij you are calculating dp of ij is equals to minimum of dp of ij comma dp of i to a then a b plus uh, dp of b to j if w was smaller then uh, this will be uh, w otherwise it's previous distance right otherwise dp of ij is equal to minimum of dp of ij comma dp of i of b right that means i to b then this edge then b, a, a to j right and finally for pair ij you have calculated after going through this if this uh, the shortest path between ij were to be reduced it has been done right 
after these two statements. And after that, you have to add this into your total sum. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And finally, while returning, I'm dividing it by two because for each pair, I'm counting it twice, but I only have to uh, count it only once, right? So that's why I'm dividing it by two. Now, now you might ask that how is it related to your uh, Floyd Warshall algorithm? You see, in Floyd Warshall algorithm, what we do, we, we take an intermediate node, right? And then try to calculate or reduce distance between pair ij using that intermediate node, right? Here, we are not using intermediate node, but intermediate edge, this edge, right? So the idea is quite sim uh, similar, the same that is used in Floyd Warshall. Instead of using uh, intermediate node, we are using intermediate edge, that's all. So hopefully this was uh, uh, this, the solution you were able to understand. If not, please let me know in the comment section or any suggestion that what next problem we should try. So uh, thank you guys for this, uh, for uh, <laughs> understanding and uh, being here with me and see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.